Washington, USA, Friday the 13th. Ooh, hello, it's me again, Iris, a normal taxi driver who somehow always encounters weird things. Today, I have another story to write in my work diary. As you may have guessed, just like any other taxi driver, I don't really want to serve drunk passengers. I'm sick and tired of having to clean their vomit up all the time. But, as you know, my old car that was beyond repair, remember those monstrous monkeys that destroyed my car? But that was some time ago. I was thinking about looking for another job. But eventually, I decided to keep on working as a taxi driver because I really like the work and somehow I feel like I was born to be a taxi driver. I had to borrow some money to buy myself a new car and now I had to work two times as hard, no, three times harder to earn enough money to pay off my debt and support my wife and children. I started to gradually ignore my own rules Lately, I have been serving drunk passengers, as they were more likely to give me better tips, which means more income and a happier life. And things were just getting more stable now. But somehow, something terrible happened to me again. It was a day when I only had a few customers. I parked my car by the side of the road at noon and by 5 p.m., I still had not received any rides. I got back to the car with the intention of going home early and call it a day. And then suddenly, a young man with a wobbly gait rushed to the front of my car. Man, that startled me, and I slammed on the brake pedal. What kind of an idiot would rush in front of my car like that? For a minute, I felt frozen. Uh, I guess the fright from that idiot just forced me to take a little time out and think for a second. I took a deep breath. When that young man quickly moved to the back of the car, hitting the car door repeatedly, telling me to unlock the door. As I looked at him, I could only whisper to myself, what an unlucky day. I couldn't get any taxi rides the whole afternoon. And now I have to deal with the drunk bastard right when I was about to go home. When he got in my car, even after I asked him what his destination was, he still did not answer me. He just sat there with his head down. He must have been too drunk. I was trying to ask him again when he suddenly went crazy. His whole body began convulsing violently and then unexpectedly he rushed to the driver's seat and attacked me he bit me on the neck and i quickly grabbed the cane from under my feet and hit him as hard as i could over the head and then i opened the door and rushed out screaming for help the guy became even more angry after that sudden blow he rushed out and chased after me looking like a madman the way he ran didn't look like a normal person at all. Very crooked, like a bloodthirsty zombie. The only difference was he looked extremely agile. As I was looking behind me, I accidentally stumbled over a rock and fell onto the street. I was still struggling on the road when he caught up and rushed towards me like a crazy man. He was only three steps away from me when he exposed his teeth and jumped towards me. The only thing I could do under that circumstance was to close my eyes and pray. But right at that moment, I suddenly heard a loud noise. It turned out that he was hit by a car on the road. The female driver panicked and got out of the car. I slowly got up and with the help of the other girl, we approached him to check if he was all right. Dreadfully, the man had stopped breathing. The girl began to panic even more and cried as she thought she killed the person. I noticed the smell of alcohol coming out of her body. However, while the two of us were not paying attention, that crazy guy suddenly jumped up, glaring with his crazy red eyes and hypnotized us.
And at that moment, I could only take the girl's hand and run. But an awful thing happened. We had been running for quite a while when I suddenly heard a cry from behind. And when I looked back, oh my God, I almost fainted. What I was holding was just the arm separated from the girl's body. And in the distance, I could see the man frantically biting the girl, just like a cannibal. Being so scared out of my mind, I kept running without even looking back. I was so terrified. I tried my best to run to the main road, wave my hands to call for help. When drivers on the road stopped and asked me what had happened, they were under the impression that I had been robbed. Me, together with three other men, headed back to the scene, but found out that the zombie guy was gone. The girl's corpse was nowhere to be seen. There was just a piece of white cloth left. I assumed that it was from the dress of the girl. I told everything that I could remember to the police, but until now, there has been no new information about the case. Absolutely no clue about the zombie-like man that I described. The owner of the car at the scene was declared missing. I think that the man took the girl's body deep into the woods. At night, he would appear in deserted places to start searching for another prey.